Welcome everybody. It's Wednesday afternoon. This is Mike Brenner from the Odds Couple. Pistol Pete is out on assignment, but we're going to continue our weekly series with Joe Gavassi on the early lines for college basketball games that are being played tomorrow, which is Thursday. All right, this series has proven to be very effective and a very sharp tool. Again, free at SBR. So don't forget, hashtag ask SBR. And with that being said, all right, Southern Cal, a very respectable 21 and 6 record, going to take on Arizona. Arizona favored minus 10, and again, they're number four in the country, but USC just came off an absolute ass whooping that UCLA gave them. Joe, with that being said, do you think that is in the head of USC, and, and do you think the talent is going to make the difference to cover the minus 10 for Arizona in this matchup? I think we can only perceive this as the look-ahead game of the night on the Thursday card, and I'm talking about the Arizona Wildcats looking ahead to hosting UCLA on Saturday night in the marquee matchup of the day. Where's the motivation for Arizona in this one? They've already beaten USC earlier in LA, and they've just seen USC get wiped out by both Oregon and UCLA, the other cream of the crop in the Pac-12. I think the emotional edge here is all going to USC. Furthering our case is the return of Benny Boatwright to the USC lineup which clearly offsets the return of Tree Air to the Arizona lineup. With no emotional advantage for Arizona in this one and no reason to go out of their way to beat the point spread, why not see Arizona drop to 0-8 and eight against the spread as a conference home favorite this year? That's right. The Wildcats have yet to beat the spread at home in Pac-12 play. Take USC as double-digit dog coming off a pair of double-digit losses and with revenge. You know, Joe, there's several factors that you touched on that just make nothing but perfect sense. I said it earlier this season, this is a different Sean Miller team. They're not as deep, they're not as confident, and they are absolutely not covering spreads. All right, they're 9-1 and one straight up their last 10, but they're 1-4 and four against the spread the last five, and I agree they know what's right around the corner, and they know that UCLA just had a warm-up for it, and they're going to be rested and ready to go. There's nobody, nobody at all that can tell me they're not overlooking this team. All right, they already beat them once, and and even though USC's coming off that pounding, all right, they're 21 and 6 for a reason. So I think this is going to be there. Somebody's going to pay for that shit game. And I think Arizona does exactly what you say. I think they overlook it. They take it easy. And where is the apps? I mean, where's the motivation to get this win besides just wanting to go ahead and make sure you're getting the W? But ATS wise, I don't see it happening. Look ahead game of the night. I think it's going to be a casher. Is there anything at all that, that maybe supports a USC straight up win, or is that just too much? out of the question. Well, it's a very, very strong home court. Arizona's defense is clearly superior, and Sean Miller is an outstanding coach with an edge on the bench. Sure, the Trojans could pull a shocker because they're a dynamite offensive team, but I'd feel much more comfortable having the 10 points in my pocket. Okay, I have to agree. And uh, Joe, if you will, winningsportsadvice.com, that's your webpage. Give a well-deserved plug to our viewers, if you will. Every day we have winning sports advice that you can use up there. For this Wednesday, it's the marquee matchups between Louisville and North Carolina and Syracuse hosting, of course, Duke and Coach K. Those marquee matchup opinions both up there for you right now at freepickswinningsportsadvice.com. Until next time, guys, all the best to you and good luck. And viewers, don't you look ahead to the next bet. Make sure you pay attention to this one, all right? Joe Gavassi broke it down. USC getting 10 points at Arizona. That's looking ahead to Saturday. Joe, as always, I just love doing these videos with you. It sharpens my pencil, and I know it does for the viewers as well. Have a great day. Take care of your sweetheart at home. Nava, tell her I said hello, and we'll see you next week. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.